guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been getting a lot of requests and comments uh, below some of my videos, which I so appreciate because it helps me curate content for you guys and really keep it relevant to what you guys want to know. Um, and a lot of you guys are like, I'm trying your techniques. And a lot of you guys are like, they're helping me so much. This is perfect, blah, blah, blah. But then I have others, especially um, women that have aging skin. Um, they tell me, you know what? In my makeup just slips and slides and I can all the primers I use and setting sprays I use just don't work do you have any tips for me that can help me keep my makeup in place all day long especially busy um, you know executive women stay-at-home moms um, you know anybody that just really doesn't have time or can't you know touch up their makeup throughout the day and I was like you know what I got you so today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do to make my client and my clients and and obviously mine when I need it um, makeup budge proof it will not move all day it is quite a few steps but if this is a concern for you guys this is a, a you know this is something that I feel is really gonna help you these tips are really gonna be useful so if you want to know how to make your makeup stay all day long keep watching okay so first of all I have all of my skincare on and as you know you've watched my videos I enjoy pretty uh, thick skincare so um, I've let that kind of, uh, you know, sink into the skin for about five minutes. And now let's talk about the next step. The next step is going to be priming. Now you can take any primer you want. Um, I'm going to take Honey Do Me by NYX because I do have combination skin, but it's airing more on the side of uh, dry since it, the weather has changed and heaters are on and everything like that. So. You want to get your primer and most of the time it's better if you use either some sort of gel or you know primer that can be moved by a sponge or a brush now what I'm going to tell you about is setting sprays now I'm not talking about you know ones that are like hydrating mists or toners or um, max fix plus uh, anything like that is just to hydrate the skin it's to um, kind of remove that powderiness that we've talked about a lot um, after you've done you know your whole makeup you've powdered and everything and it kind of still looks powdery you can use all those different types of sprays to take that away I'm talking about setting sprays so Urban Decay's All Nighter or Urban Decay's uh, Chill Setting Spray or Scandinavia's uh, The Makeup Finishing Spray there's a bunch of different setting sprays out on the market, but you need to make sure that they have technology to keep the makeup cool, to keep the makeup on. You know, there's some sort of, um, all these have some sort of technology to adhere all the products to the skin and give it something to kind of like grab onto. So it's not a rehydrator, it is a setting spray. All right, so let's get that part out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my honey do me and I'm literally just going to apply it like this and I'm going to take I'm going to start with my um, and again it doesn't matter what setting spray you use just get one like we talked about this is the uh, Urban Decay uh, chill makeup setting spray I'm going to saturate my damp beauty blender and you want to have a damp because it's also going to help move product and so I'm just going to press that into the skin. Now you can use a brush and saturate your brush. You do not have to use a beauty blender. You can use whatever other sponge you have um, or whatever brush you have. But the point is, is to saturate, ooh, I have a hair on me, it's to saturate your tool with your setting spray. All right, so now that that is set, I do like to give a spritz all over the face just just a light spritz we're we're doing this in layers this is the point of this tutorial is to show you how to do it in layers and it will make your skin look absolutely flawless all right so I spritzed my skin so that is going to lock in the, the all your skincare it's going to lock in that primer and I just give it just a few seconds to kind of evaporate and you know work into the skin Next, I'm going to be using a, not a full coverage, not a long lasting foundation, which you totally can if you want to use a long lasting foundation, but we're working in layers again. So I'm using Face and Body by MAC because it is super light and gorgeous and 
everything I want in a foundation when I am trying to go on the lighter side. And I am uh, N2. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand, and you can put it on a brush, same thing, but I'm just going to dab this all over the face. And this first application, you want it to be light. You want it to be almost a tinted moisturizer uh, type of coverage. So you can use a, a full coverage foundation, but just use it very lightly. All right, so now I'm going in with my Skindinavia, and I'm gonna saturate the sponge, and I'm going to work this into the skin. And if you feel you need a little bit more in certain places, again, this is the first application, so I need always need a little bit more right here and on my chin, kind of around the perimeters a little bit. This is a very lightweight foundation. And blend. All right, so now that that is on, I am going to take a little bit of a heavier coverage foundation. So I am going to be using the Fiona Styles uh, Luminous Finish Foundation. And I'm just going to put that on my sponge and I'm just going to be using a little bit and this is going to be in the center of my face and I'm just going to dot it just like this. And I'm gonna saturate my sponge again. or your brush, whatever you whatever you want to use, and blend that in. All right, so now for concealer. Um, just take any concealer you have, and you don't want to overdo it with the concealer, but you're going to apply it how you normally would. and you're gonna saturate the sponge again. And tap that in. It's also going to help with your concealer creasing because you're setting this as you go. So your concealer will be less likely to crease, your foundation will be less likely to crease, and also obviously will stay put all day long. Now you can already see what a beautiful finish to the skin that is already happening. All right, so there we go. We are working our way towards beautifully set skin. Um, now we're gonna add a little bit of color to the face. So I'm gonna be taking my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette. Uh, this is number one. And I am just going to, let me get a brush here. I'm just going to apply it with a brush, just a little bit. We're just doing the bare minimum here. Just a little bit. Around the face, up here. And then we're going to take our cream blush. This one is by Carez. On the same brush, and I'm just wiping it off on a towel here. And you're not blending anything in yet. You're just applying color. Take your beauty blender <laughs> and work that in. And you wanna work these two together right here, up and into your hairline. All right, so our face already has great dimension starting in it and it looks beautiful and luminous and it does not feel heavy. I really wanna like make sure you guys understand that this does not feel heavy. This technique does not feel, um, cakey at all. All right, so now it is time to set this bad boy. So I'm gonna take the uh, uh, La Mer, the powder, and I'm going to take a little bit, and you can take it um, in the palm of your hand, you can take it on the back of this. I am gonna take it in the back of my, on the palm of my hand. And I already have my Beauty Blender dampened with the setting spray and I'm going to dip it into the powder and start to set. All right, you guys, how beautiful 
does that finish look? It is stunning. So just to kind of finish everything up, we are going to take some powder products to further set our makeup. I'm gonna take the Hourglass Bronzer and the uh, Hourglass Bronzer, what is this called? A Luminous Bronze Light and then the Hourglass Luminous Flush. Circular motions. All right, you guys, so I have completed my eyes and all that kind of good stuff and my lips, and this is just a finishing touch, you know, since we have already just really locked in our makeup. It is not going anywhere. But just to give it a little ex extra added insurance, I'm gonna take my either your, your Urban Decay or your Scandinavia, whichever one you want. I have a tendency to like this one. And I'm just going to spray it all over the face and just let that sink in and let it do its job and it is ready to go. It will not move and uh, it will not slip and slide and I hope this tip helps you guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys really liked this video and want more tips about how to make your makeup last all day and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't and lots of love from me to you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye you guys.